Praise the Lord Jesus. I was listening to the Steve song on the devil ain't got nothing on me, only Jesus. It's in the spirit when you worship the Lord and you praise the Lord, I mean, and, and sing, pray. The Bible says, let everything that hath breast praise the Lord. It says, sing a new song unto the Lord. Jesus is real and Jesus is alive. You know, if you set your life on goals and this thing, you might reach the top. But time don't stop. It just keeps going. And you know, when you grow old every day, life is short compared to eternity. It's just a dash. If only in this life we had hope, Paul said in Corinthians, we're of all men most miserable. But Jesus gives us hope. In the Bible, Paul said, to be absent from the body is to be present with Christ. So the goal is heaven. You know, I've seen many people serve the Lord. Some have just had a fire. And as years go by, bad things happen. Some, some remain sweet and keep the faith and the hope, but some grew bitter and turned to drugs, went back to drugs and alcohol or prescription drugs. And, they're, and in fact, I'm going to go see a friend who used to serve the Lord who's very desperate. He needs prayer. And he wants me to come. He told me if I didn't come to see him one time, he, he said he'd kill himself. So there's people who are hurting. I'm not judging them. I'm just saying, how can we keep that from happening to us? You know, Colossians says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. So we keep this hope. To be absent from the body is to be present with Christ. Some people believe they're, the people who die are still asleep. Because they read Ecclesiastes and uh, you're, you're missing it. I just, you know, listen to this in Luke, the 23rd chapter. The two thieves on the cross. One of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If you be Christ, save yourself and us. See, that's the proud. The worldly, like they, well, if he's God, let him reveal himself to me. Let him strike me dead. I'm just as good as anybody else or so. But the other, in verse 24, or verse 4, but the other answer rebuked him, saying, Do not, do you not fear God, seeing that you are in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due rewards of our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss or nothing wrong. He humbled himself. See, that's the way the light, when we, we realize we're sinners, we don't deserve, we need forgiveness. Do you realize you're a sinner? And you know that Jesus died on that cross for us. And then it says in verse 42, he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. That's his question. He said, Lord, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he made a stay. He said, he said, Oh, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, His answer. As you need to think about this answer. Verily, verily, verily I say to you, Today shall you be with me in paradise. Truly, you shall be with me. Today, you'll be with me in paradise. Praise God. So that, that Jesus said, today you're going to be with me in paradise. Praise God to die. When we look at someone who die, if we live long enough, everybody we know is going to die. There's going to get a point where we don't want to live here no more. say, my Lord, take me home. Have you ever been there? You say, oh, I'll never be there. You know, you might, I'm thinking about it. You know, if you go through the Bible, even the great, powerful men of God. Elijah who called fire down from heaven and the you know took the altar against the prophets of Baal and he he said let me let's see who's God God or God of Baal, or Baal. and he made fun of them because their God couldn't do nothing but he called and fire came down he poured water and filled it up but later Jezebel was going to kill him and he ran in the mountains and he said, Lord, let me die. I'm all alone. You may think you're all alone. You're the only one left. But God said, no, you're not alone. He said, I've got, I forgot how many, 
how many thousands and more? You know, so we're not alone. But God's going to always have a remnant. God looks at the heart. He, he, looks, he sees all across. Man looks on the outward appearance or outward, but God looks in the heart. Praise God. To be absent from the bodies, to be present with Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Remember me, Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Jesus told the thief on the cross, I'd like to see meet that thief one day. He got saved in the 11th hour. God bless you.